welcome back my dear students today let us continue our session with fluid and its properties so next topic is compressibility and bulk modulus so before that we shall know what is this bulk modulus so this bulk modulus so when a uniform element is consider let us let us let us consider this as a uniform element and it is subjected to three mutually perpendicular stresses sigma okay then in this condition ratio of this direct stress to the volumetric strain whatever the change in its shape or volume is called the ratio is called as the bulk modulus and it is defined as k you know when a uniform element is subjected to equal stresses in the mutually perpendicular direction the ratio of direct stress the ratio of direct stress to the volumetric strain to the volumetric strain is called as bulk modulus so this was the definition of bulk modulus and we here study in contact with our fluid so what is bulk modulus it is defined as the ratio of compressive stress so it is direct stress but here what is happening we are taking that stress okay some force so here bulk modulus of elasticity k which is defined as the ratio of compressive stress to the volumetric strain and what is compressibility compressibility is nothing but it is the reciprocal of bulk modulus so let us consider a uh, see here in this figure consider a cylinder fitted with the piston as shown in figure so let this is the v let v be the volume of the gas enclosed in the cylinder and p is the pressure of a gas when volume is v so yavaga idr the volume volume illi varege irutho v yavaga idr pressure est irutte p okay yavaga next en martivi navu ee pressure na increase martivi increase madodandre enu olagade piston anna self force aagtivi olagade hoga age then what will happen let the pressure be increased first en ittu p ittu next now pressure na solve increase martivi estu dp see here. let us increase the pressure <coughs> is increased to p plus dp then what will happen to the volume the volume decreases adlu v id enagutte minus dv as to enagutte kadme agutte correct so it decreases from v to v minus dv so is percent to kadme agutte so then the increase in pressure is to dp so madlu p ittalva increase madidvi dp as pressure increase madadaga volume v iddu est kadme aitu minus dv est kadme aitu so decrease in volume is to dv okay whenever we take the volumetric strain what is this volumetric strain it is a ratio of change in strength one minute this volumetric strain is nothing but the ratio of change okay the ratio of change in volume towards the original volume i am writing with the mouse so it is okay just listen volumetric strain and reno change in volume to the original volume so what it happens when the pressure we increase by dp then the decrease in volume is dv and here see the volumetric strain is dv by it is change in volume by original volume so here we take negative y because it is going to be decreasing the volume is decreasing so this negative sign we are taking next ee sandarbhadalli next enagutte the negative sign indicates the volume of volume decreases with increase of pressure volume decreases with increase of pressure so what if what does the bulk modulus happen so bulk modulus is equal to increase of pressure is increase aitu dp divided by volumetric strain 
so dp divided by volumetric strain you know, minus dv by v so whenever we uh, equate it we will get minus dp by dv into v so the value of k in contact with our fluid mechanics is the value of k is what the bulk modulus value is k is equal to minus dp by dv by into v this you have to remember it will help in solving the problem which comes later on but then what is compressibility it is the reciprocal of the bulk modulus so this was about the compressibility and bulk modulus so i'll go to the next surface tension so what is the surface tension so for example for surface tension is nim sampalli athwa underground tank idre neer mele hulagalu odartirtavalva so how neer mele hulagalu heng odartave so some frame like structure will be there on the water or i'll tell you first you see what is this surface tension so surface tension is defined as the tensile force acting on the surface of a liquid it is what it is a tensile force acting on the surface of a liquid in contact with a gas or on the surface of two immiscible liquids two immiscible liquids andre no immiscible andre mix agade mix agala one two liquid thondu avun eradu nu one bottle al hakidre avu mix agala so mix agade iruvanta liquid anna nave antivi immiscible liquid antivi such that the contact surface behaves like membrane under tension so in other surface tension is defined as the tensile force acting on the surface of a liquid in contact with a gas or on the surface between two immiscible liquids such that the contact surface behaves like a membrane the contact surface if there are two immiscible liquids then it is contact surface if there is no liquids only water is there then it is the free surface see here free surface which is melgade irthala aa surface behaves like a membrane it will behaves like a boundary okay thin film under tension so the magnitude of this force per unit length of free surface will have the same value as per the surface energy per unit area so this surface tension is denoted by the letter sigma the si unit is newton per meter in mk system it is kgf per meter kg film nodidira so kgf per meter ant bandre adu yavudu mks unit alli surface tension na unit to so here what is the main is the apparent physical consequence of this unbalanced force along the surface is to create a hypothetical skin or membrane so see the figure here so consider this molecules a b c of a liquid in this mass liquid idu neeralli ide anta telkoli so the molecule a this molecule a is attracted in all the directions so it is getting attracted in all the direction full mulugide alva a molecule water alli so it is attracted in all the direction so due to this attraction an internal reaction is created so just internal reaction irthave a outer reaction irthave so it is stable it is a balanced equation so it will remain constant there only so a alle irutte okay so the molecule a is attracted in all the direction equally by surrounding molecules of the liquid thus the resulting force what will be the net force here zero right thus the resultant force acting on the molecule a is zero but see here in the molecule b which is situated near the free surface so free surface atra situated ide alle enagutte it is acted upon by the upward and downward forces it is acted upon both the forces that is upward and downward forces which are unbalanced here a molecule is balanced but here b is unbalanced but net force yakade irutte kelagane barutallo net force so net force will be in the downward direction only so it will form here illen form agutadu illi tension create agutte so tension create agadrinda enagutte this membrane will act as a that membrane this 
area will act as a membrane okay when you come to the c molecule the molecule c situated on the free surface okay of a liquid does experience a resultant downward force so illi yav forces so illa correct ah molecule el mel gade yav forces illa so it is acted upon only the downward direction right it is acted upon only by the downward direction so due, due to this downward directional in uh, attraction agutala so e force en madutte e mel gade area na area alli tension baro hage madutte so aa tension inda aa area enagutte it will act it will act like a membrane thus the free surface of a liquid acts like a very thin film this membrane or this boundary will act like a thin film under tension so under tension er karana adr mele neer gal mele pula addat irthavu nodidira okay so this under tension of the surface of the liquid as though it is an elastic membrane under tension okay so ill force net force kelagade ill surface alli forces net force kelagade iradinda melgade free surface alli enagutte a area will be like a membrane under tension so it exhibits the property of surface tension so it creates the hypothetical skin or membrane okay you have the surface tension is defined as the tensile force what is that surface tension is the tensile force acting on the surface of a liquid in contact with the gas so illi in the air ide alva okay in contact with the gas or on the surface of two immiscible liquids such that the contact surface what is the surface the boundary acts like a membrane membrane under tension so i hope you understand about the surface tension if you get an idea that's enough you will get digested by coming classes okay now we will see the surface tension on the water droplet okay so surface tension on the liquid droplet and bubble so first we will see the case for the liquid droplet so consider a small spherical droplet of a liquid of radius r on the entire surface of the droplet the tensile force due to surface tension will be acting so here is the full width first you know droplet droplet and you know so one droplet and thilidre ad enagutte it is filled with water it will not be hollow it is filled with water when it is cutted down okay when it is made into half enagutte the entire surface of the droplet the tensile force see here the force the tensile force due to the surface tension will be acting correct ah cut ma bitre enagutte so illi en balanced agittu adu imbalance aitu so net so all circumference alli enagutte surface tension force create agutte okay so let sigma be the surface tension of the liquid delta p or p be the pressure in intensity inside the droplet next r is the radius of the droplet d is the dia of the droplet okay let the droplet be cut into two halves the force acting on half will be so what is the force acting when the drop is cutted yeah, or it is cutted equally by half then what is the forces acting here yen agutte forces yaya forces barutte so at circumference one force barutte correct ah jothege ad yen area ide adr mele innond force barutte so we will get two forces here which will be acting on the half of the liquid droplet so we will see now so first one forces are the tensile forces due to surface tension acting around the circumference so in tensile forces acting around the circumference of the cut portion as shown in figure so yen agutadu sigma into circumference of the circle okay this is in the form of circle right so sigma into circumference so sigma into 2 pi r what is the circumference of the circle 2 pi r if we consider as diameter d then it is sigma into pi d so 
टू फोर्स आक्ट आगते वन फोर्स टेनसैल फोर्स ड्यू टू सर्फेस टेन्शन इन प्रेजर फोर्स आन द एरिया पै बै फोर डी स्क्वे वाट इज द एरिया आफ द सर्कल पै बै फोर इंटू डी स्क्वे सो वाट इज द कमेंट डेलटा पी अथवा स्मा पी प्रेजर दिस स्म प्रेजर इंटू वाट एरिया आफ द सर्कल विद रेस्पेक्ट टू रेडियस पै आर् स्क्वे और पी इंटू पै बै फोर इंटू डी स्क्वे एरिया इंटू द प्रेजर दिस वन फोर्स सर्कम फरस इंटू the surface tension this one force so these two forces will act on the surface tension on a liquid droplet okay so now these two forces ellen force act agutto jothege olagade ira force area mele act agudu plus circumference will be what vandre de alva adu vande drop ind alva so it will be equal and opposite under equilibrium condition so under equilibrium condition the tensile force due to the surface tension and also the pressure force on the area will be equal and opposite so what we can do we can equate it so this is what pressure force this is what surface tension so when we equate it we will get a equation for pre or pressure intensity that is sigma into 2 pi d divided by pi by 4 t square and it will be equated or it will be solved it will become p is equal to 4 sigma into d so this is important to solve the exam to solve the problem in future okay so the pressure intensity the pressure intensity of a liquid droplet with what anta question kelidre yenu formula p is equal to 4 sigma by d where d is the diameter of the droplet so this equation shows that decrease in diameter of the droplet so see here this p is inversely proportional to d <coughs> inversely proportional to d and you know as the as there is decrease in diameter of the droplet as there is decrease in diameter of the droplet the pressure intensity inside the droplet increases so it is inversely proportional andre one kadme andre one jaasti agutte okay so it was about the pressure intensity inside the liquid droplet so now we shall see the pressure intensity inside the hollow bubble so hollow bubble allo ste hollow bubble allo en vyatasa liquid droplet ku bubble ku en vyatasa andre this liquid droplet will be filled with water but bubble bubble is air inside it will be air correct ah Inside air, right? So, the hollow bubble, like a soap bubble, in air has two surfaces in contact with air. One inside, inside, feel no di. So, the inside circumference is there, lah. That is also in contact with air, but that air is inner air of the bubble, and this outside in circumference is there, lah. Adu, that will be contact with the air with the environment air. So. Second, thus the two surfaces are subject to surface tension. So same concept, but here the because of the two surfaces will multiply with. See here, p into pi by four d square is equal to summation into two pi d. Right here, p into summation pi by d pi by four d square is equal to. We will add, we will multiply with this two. Why this two is multiplied? Because of the two circumference. Here, there is the two na. Multiply my TV. So what does P becomes? This P, the pressure intensity inside the hollow bubble, it will be eight sigma by d, where d is the diameter of the droplet. So whenever, sorry, this is not droplet. This is bubble. Okay. So whenever they tell to find us the pressure inside a droplet, we have to use this equation. Whenever they tell to find the pressure inside a bubble, so bubble, we have to use the formula. This that is p in p is equal to eight sigma by d. So this was about the surface tension of the liquid droplet and hollow bubble. Next we shall see some of the examples. So find the surface tension in a soap bubble. See ya. Find the surface tension of a soap bubble. So it is about the bubble. We have to Remember the formula for bubble. That is, P is equal to what? 
soap bubble right p is equal to 8 summation by 8 sigma by d it will come to our mind whenever we see in the question only okay find the surface tension in a we have to find the surface tension in a bubble of 40 mm diameter so diameter is given 40 mm when the inside pressure so they have given p 2.5 newton per meter square above atmospheric pressure okay so they have given diameter of the bubble what is that 40 mm is given right so 40 mm diameter is given next what is given they have given the pressure inside pressure that is 2.5 newton per meter square so this is meter square so this is mm so we have to convert this mm into that is 40 into 10 power minus 3 will happen okay now we can see the answer so see here diameter of the bubble is 40 mm that is converted to meter this pressure in excess of outside that is above atmospheric pressure means it's a pressure right 2.5 so for so bubble using the equation what p is equal to 8 sigma by d so whenever you substitute and solve we will get summation sigma is equal to 2.5 into 14 to 10 power minus 3 divided by 8 newton per meter so the answer will be 0 0.0125 newton per meter this is just substitution problem so i am doing doing here in the slide just what we did we just substituted in the given formula okay another example we will see so the pressure outside the droplet of a water of diameter is 0 0.04 mm is 10.32 newton per centimeter square and it is given as it is atmospheric pressure okay calculate the pressure within the droplet if surface tension is given as 0 0.0725 newton per meter of water see here the pressure outside the droplet of water of diameter so they have given the pressure outside pressure okay and it is excess pressure outside okay now calculate the pressure within the droplet we have to calculate the pressure inside the droplet so they have given a pressure which is outside means the pressure inside the droplet in excess of the outside pressure so what we have to find so some trick is there see here calculate the pressure within the droplet we have to find the p but the value given here the pressure value given is the pressure from the outside so whatever it is given first we will note down the given that is d is what 0 0.04 mm we will convert it to meter and this pressure outside the droplet is given as 10.32 so this is the pressure outside the droplet okay it is 10.32 into it will be converted to what centimeter per meter square they then now into 10 power 4 meter in 10 power 4 meter in newton per meter square birth okay now surface tension is also given 0 0.0725 newton per meter so what we have to find we have to find first pressure that is p is equal to 4 sigma divided by d so whatever the answer here comes it is not the answer because it is a pressure inside the droplet in excess of the outside pressure is given whenever the outside pressure is given so that is connected with this one but what is they have given we have to calculate the pressure within the droplet we have to calculate the pressure within the droplet so another p we have to find that pressure inside the droplet is equal to whatever the solution we are getting here this plus pressure outside the droplet so this will be the answer so i will show you by solving see here so diameter of the droplet is given 0 0.04 mm so pressure outside the droplet is what 10.32 newton per centimeter square that is 10.32 into 10 power 4 newton per meter square <coughs> so we have a 
formula for pressure inside the droplet only okay but the given is outside the droplet okay so what we, what is given here we know this formula we will substitute it so p is equal to 4 sigma by d so 4 into sigma is to the 0 0.0725 divided by d is to the 0 0.04 10 power minus 3 we will get the pressure inside the droplet okay as 0 0.725 newton per centimeter square okay now in addition to the pressure outside the droplet in addition to what the pressure e e value no consider martha now in candidate become the pressure inside the droplet so just add it so p what is this p you add it that is 10.32 you add the pressure outside the drop so you see here p plus pressure outside the droplet will be your answer that is 0 0.725 plus 10.32 so here thinking of the question is very important whenever they give outside pressure or atmospheric pressure like that we have to add that atmospheric pressure to the pressure inside the droplet what we have taken here the value which we got here we have to add that value okay next we will see about capillarity so what is this capillarity the capillarity is defined as the phenomenon of rise or see capillarity is defined as the phenomenon of rise or fall of a liquid surface in a small tube relative to the adjacent general level of liquid when the tube is held vertically in the liquid so what they are telling so for capillarity so this is this all terms we have already learned just we are refreshing our knowledge so what is this capillarity the capillarity is defined as rise or fall of a liquid so let us consider this is a vessel and in that vessel we have water some liquid okay so whenever we insert a glass tube and that glass tube should be open from both the ends and that glass tube is open from both the ends what will happen this liquid will enter the glass tube and here the water will rise right here the water will rise so this rise of water okay or this rise of liquid or sometimes if the liquid is somewhat different liquid okay like uh, heavy mercury or the liquid which has more viscosity like this means what it happen it will fall the water will not or the liquid in this container will not rise okay it will fall so that phenomenon that process is called what capillarity so what is this capillarity it is defined as the phenomenon of rise or fall of a liquid surface okay, rise or fall of a liquid surface in a small tube relative to the general level whatever the level is there no okay a level ala other kinta mail other over the a level kinta so it is defined as the phenomenon of rise or fall of a liquid surface in a small tube relative to the adjacent general level of a liquid when the tube is held vertically in the liquid okay so this rise of a liquid surface if there is a rise in liquid surface it is known as capillary rise if there is a fall in the liquid surface what is called it is called as capillary depression so when there is rise it is called as capillary rise and when there is a fall in a liquid it is called capillary depression okay so why does this happen okay see here why it happens means so if the liquid molecules so if uh, take this condition okay this condition here the liquid is to rise okay where there is a rise of uh, liquid is there okay I'll, I'll show you the next slide wait so see here, liquid is there, a tube, this is the glass tube, I am writing from the mouse, it is difficult, okay, so this is the glass tube, right, when it is inserted vertically inside the liquid, so the liquid rises in that tube, okay, 
this rise of a tube just rise i2 from the liquid surface it is no height of rise okay then okay i was explaining one minute this is called height so what i am explaining then is water molecules correct so this water molecules a water molecules madhe en irte there is a pressure there is an attraction attraction between the same molecules is called what cohesion the attraction between the different molecules is called adhesion so water ku water madhe attraction ige nanthi now cohesion anthe helthivi water matte wall of the tube attraction ige nanthivi adhesion anthivi yavaga ee adhesion anodu cohesion kinda jaasti agutte when the force of adhesion okay when the attraction of adhesion is more then the cohesion of the molecules of the cohesion of the liquid surface see here avaga cohesion between the liquid surface is less okay is less than the adhesion force of liquid and tube then the water will rise that so water will rise see here attraction between the wall of the tube attraction means adhesion adhesion means what it is between the wall of the tube and liquid molecules okay it is between the wall of the tube and liquid molecules so the attraction between the wall of the tube and the mo liquid molecules is strong enough it is strong enough means what it is higher it is greater it is strong enough to overcome the mutual attraction overcome the mutual attraction means overcome the cohesion force between the molecules the attraction force between the same molecules and pull them up the wall and that makes the water to pull them up the wall that makes the water to rise okay in this process the liquid is set to wet the solid surface in this process the liquid is set to wet the surface here so this is called as wetting okay this is called the uh, called as wetting of the solid surface so this capillarity we will understand this in next slides okay sorry it is expressed in terms of what centimeter or mm of a liquid its value depends upon the specific weight so its value depends upon what you think it depends upon the specific weight of the liquid diameter of the tube and also the surface tension of the liquid so three depends upon the three factors what is that specific weight of the liquid whatever the liquid is there its specific weight and the diameter of the tube which you insert okay and also the surface tension of the liquid so it depends upon the, on the these three things so what is capillarity it defined the phenomenon of rise or fall of a liquid surface in a small tube relative to adjacent general level of a liquid when the tube is held vertically in the liquid see now we will see the expression for capillary rise okay so consider a glass tube of small diameter d okay opened at both ends so it is important open at both end and is and is inserted in a liquid so the liquid will rise in the tube above the level of the liquid so what is this capillary rise so the liquid will rise in the tube above the level of the liquid so let h be the height of the liquid in the tube this h is the height of the liquid in the tube okay under a state of equilibrium okay this was about the figure now they are telling under the state of equilibrium equilibrium condition idaga enagutte this weight of the liquid this weight of the liquid of height h this weight again e weight idella this weight of the liquid okay of height h is balanced by the force it is it should be balanced na to uh, be stable or to remain in equilibrium it should be balanced right so it should be balanced by the force at the surface of the liquid it is balanced at the force at the surface of the liquid in the tube but the force at the surface of the liquid in the tube is due to what so here so surface mele in any liquid surface what is the force it is what surface tension but the force at the surface of the liquid is the tube is due to the surface tension 
so ill entu kobiki slide alli so h is the height of the liquid in the tube which is raised okay and this height of the liquid should be in equilibrium what it what it happens it should be balanced by the force and that balanced by the force and uh, which force at the surface of the liquid there is a force called surface tension which acts on this liquid so this sigma is you know so this is meniscus this is called as meniscus okay for water it will form like this meniscus and if you take the mercury it will fall like this meniscus okay so see meniscus id meniscus adaga so this is what this is surface tension so the angle between the tube and the this and the surface tension force direction the angle between the surface tension force and the wall of the tube is called as theta fine next we'll see the slide so let sigma be the surface tension of the liquid okay let sigma be the surface tension of the liquid and theta be the angle between the liquid and the glass tube i showed you right so the weight of the liquid so at equilibrium the weight of the liquid of height h in the tube is how we, we can find the weight that is area of the tube into h area this area we want right area of the tube into h is h into what rho into g what is this rho this is nothing but the density into acceleration due to gravity so this rho into g so what is the area of the tube tube is in the circular tube right so pi by 4 into d square into h which is nothing but this density into g so pi by 4 d square into h into rho into g is the weight of the liquid of the weight of the liquid of height h in the tube here rho is the density of the liquid next in on force yavad agutte so the vertical component of the surface tension see here this vertical component of the surface tension so what will be the vertical component so this will be the vertical component right i'll show you see this will be the vertical component so with that vertical component which angle is there there is theta right so if this angle is theta then the vertical what does what will happen to the vertical component it will be directly sigma into first term to a first year engineering elements of civil engineering remember so sigma into cos term now what it happens so vertical component of the surface tensile force what it will be sigma into circumference yes correct sigma into the circumference into the cos theta so sigma into circumference of the circle pi d into cos theta so this force surface tension force in equilibrium this surface tension force and this would be in equilibrium means these both are equal so what we do we will equate this both equation see here weight of the liquid of height h it is equated with the vertical component of the surface tensile force so once we equate we can find the h value right height of the liquid value that is sigma pi d by cos theta divided by pi d by 4 d square into rho into g so by cancelling the terms for 1 d the square will goes on after simplifying we will get h is equal to what 4 sigma cos theta rho g d okay h is equal to 4 sigma cos theta divided by rho g d so this is the important formula which you have to remember what is h h is equal to 4 sigma cos theta by rho d so what happens if theta is zero so if the value of theta between water and the clean glass tube is approximately equal to zero so theta zero adre so what is cos theta cos zero one okay hence cos theta is equal to unity then the rise of water will be h is equal to 4 sigma divided by rho g d so this contact angle theta depends upon the liquid and the solid 
if theta is less than if theta is less than 90 degree okay if theta is less than 90 degree the liquid is said to wet the solid if theta is more than 90 degree it will not wet the solid it will not wet the solid if theta is less than 90 only it will wet the solid and it will rise up okay if you follow this meniscus angle should be what below 90 degree if it is in depression capillary depression the theta value will be more than 90 okay so for example water wets glass and mercury on the other hand does not wet the glass so see ya. so wetting of fluid what is this this is wetting of the fluid so non wetting of the fluid see ya. wetting is not there some gap is there here it is like this okay here it is like this but here some gap is there see here. okay so this was about wetting and non-wetting of fluid so next we will see the expression for capillary fall if the glass tube is dipped in the mercury see here the glass tube is dipped in mercury the level so this is this type the level of mercury in the tube will be lower than the general level so this is general level the level of the capillary depression will be less than the general level of the mercury as shown in figure c so h is less than zero some negative value okay <clears throat> for that we will find the expression so let h be the height of the depression so then in equilibrium, so in the capillary rise and mud we same other name Madhvi. Then in equilibrium, two forces are acting in the mercury inside the tube. First one is due to the surface tension, another one due to the weight. Okay. So first one due to the surface tension. What it will be? Sigma pi d into x cos theta. It will not change, it will be same. <coughs> okay. The surface surface tension will be same. Sig sigma into pi d into cos theta. Second force is due to the hydrostatic force. So what is this hydrostatic force? We will learn in the second module. It's about the hydrostatic force only. So due to this hydrostatic force acting upward and is equal to the intensity of pressure at depth. So this pressure at a depth h into area. This hydrostatic force is given by h into area here. So when these two forces are equated. So this is the due to hydrostatic force okay and rho g h into pi by 4 d square it is due to the what surface tension here sigma pi d cos theta okay one minute sigma pi d cos theta is what due to the surface tension and second force is due to the h into area so here it is elaborated that is is the pressure intensity into pi by 4 into d square okay area h into area so this is expression for this they are giving h into area here there no for this they are giving the expression so what is y p is here see here p is taken according to figure so it is the pressure intensity okay so p into pi by 4 into d square so what is p p is nothing but rho gh pressure of a liquid given by pressure intensity is given by rho gh so rho gh into pi by 4 into d square now this force is equated with the surface tension force so it is equated so what with value of h we will get 4 sigma cos theta by rho gd 4 sigma cos theta by rho g d it is the value of for expression for capillary fall so the theta for mercury and the glass tube is 128 degree theta for mercury and glass tube is 128 degree it's a bit gate bit remember that okay we will see some of the examples so first example calculate the capillary rise in the glass tube of 2.5 mm diameter so d is given first note down what are the values given so see 2.5 mm 
ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಮೀಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ನಿಮ್ಮಷ್ಟು ವರ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟೂ ಕೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ರೆ ತೀಟಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಜೀರೋ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಯಾವಾಗಾದ್ರೂ ಫಿಲರೈಸ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಮರಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟೂ ಫೈವ್ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟೂ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಇನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಏರ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಆಸ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ಡಯಾಮೀಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ನೋಟೆಡ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ನೋಟೆಡ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ನೋಟೆಡ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೀಟಾ ಈಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಪರ್ ಮೀಟ್ರ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಸೊ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಪರ್ ಮೀಟ್ರ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಲರಿ ರೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಟಾ ಈಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಹೆಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬೈ ರೋ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಬೈ ರೋ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಸೊ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಯುಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಏಟ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಸೊ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಏಟ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಸೊ ಯುಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಸೊ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಗ್ಲಾಸ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಇಟಾ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸೊ ಹೆಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟಾ ಬೈ ರೋ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಲರಿ ಫಾಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಮರ್ಕ್ಯೂರಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪಿಚರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಲರಿ ಡಿಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಇಂಟು ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋ ಫೋರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ದಿಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಸೈನ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಸೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಲರಿ ಡಿಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಅನದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ find out the minimum size of the glass tube that can be used to measure water level so we have to find out the minimum size of the glass tube we have to find what diameter of the glass tube the capillary rise in the tube is to be restricted so it is to be restricted capillary rise so h is equal to 2 mm they are given okay h is equal to 2 mm means what 2 into 10 power minus 3 meter so consider surface tension of water so see here surface tension of water so what should come what points should come to your mind that is theta is equal to 0 density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube it should come to your mind so in contact with the air is so surface tension value is given newton per meter surface tension value so see here so h is noted surface tension is noted let d be the diameter of the tube yes we will
liquid state to gaseous state is known as what vaporization and this vaporization occurs because of what continuous escaping of molecules through the free liquid surface whenever the liquid is heated at boiling point at 100 degree centigrade what happens the liquid convert into vapors and the vaporization occurs because of the continuous escaping of molecules what molecules water vapor molecules through the free surface of a liquid so it is called as vaporization okay so now what is vapor pressure so consider uh, see here consider a closed container okay consider a closed container and in that container it is closed okay it is closed in that container at half we will fill what water okay, it is filled with water at half okay this is the film of the boundary of what or liquid surface of the water whenever this system a closed container which is half filled with water is heated okay whenever it is heated so at 100 degree centigrade so at boiling point in agate vaporization starts this when vaporization takes place molecules escape from the free surface of a liquid so here molecule so the water molecules will escape where it will go it will go to the closed container of the for which it has closed container no there the water molecules will go Okay. When vaporization takes place, the molecules escapes from the free surface of a liquid. These vapor molecules get accumulated in the space between the free liquid surface and the top of the vessel. So, it will get accumulated here in the free surface between this liquid surface and the top of the container. So, these accumulated vapor pressures, these accumulated vapors this accumulated vapors exerts pressure this accumulated vapors exerts what pressure on the liquid surface okay this vapor uh, vapors exert pressure on the liquid surface and this pressure is known as what vapor pressure the pressure exerted by the vapors on the liquid surface is called as vapor pressures or vapor pressures at which liquid is converted into vapors the pressure at which liquid is converted into vapors is also called as vapor pressure fine understood so the pressure created by the vapor molecules here vapor on the liquid surface the free liquid surface is known as what vapor pressure so vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by the vapor on the liquid surface or you can also write as the pressure at which the liquid is converted into vapors so this was about the vapor pressure okay. the pressure exerted by the vapor on the liquid surface so know the concepts okay so since it is physics properties know the concepts next cavitation so what is this cavitation so this cavitation is nothing but whenever See one minute. I'll tell you the first definition. So cavitation is the phenomenon. It is a process of formation of what? Vapor bubbles of a flowing liquid in a region where the pressure of the liquid falls below the vapor pressure. And this sudden collapse and sudden collapsing of these vapor bubbles in a region of higher pressure so when this happens okay what are the process happening that process uh, i will tell you with an example okay which will not understand so let this be the pipe okay consider this as a pipe okay so in this pipe what is flowing 
so this cavitation occurs in fluid which is flowing so the fluid is in what motion okay and another point is here it is at low pressure okay so pressure and here in that same another point it is high pressure okay here it is low pressure and it here it is high pressure so at the low pressure in the flowing liquid what forms vapor bubbles will be formed okay is the region of low pressures is the region of high pressures so these vapor bubbles are formed in the liquid so it is a region where the vapor bubbles are forming in the low pressure zone okay when this vapor bubbles is transferred to high pressure okay this air bubbles or vapor bubbles what does it happen it will collapse collapse under you know it will destroy itself okay when the vapor bubbles from low pressure to high pressure it comes it will collapse okay it will collapse when it collapse very high or tremendous rise of pressure will be there so due to collapsing of this there will be rise of pressure so because of this rise of pressure okay so when this vapor comes here to the high zone high pressure zone so here the vapor bubbles what it will it will collapse and due to this collapse rise of pressure will happen so this rise of pressures in the high pressure zone cause heating action cause heating of heating action on the walls of this pipe so they cause heating action on the surface of the pipe so thus here due to the heating action cavities are formed okay so this cavities are formed and it will leads to cavitation so thus the process name is cavitation so what is cavitation so the cavitation is the phenomenon of formation of vapor bubbles of a flowing liquid in a region where the pressure of a liquid falls below the vapor pressure and sudden collapsing of these of these vapor bubbles in a region of higher pressure so when the vapor bubble collapse a very high pressure is created so the metallic surface about which the liquid is flowing is subjected to this high pressure which causes what heating action on the surfaces okay so these heating action is converted to cavities so thus cavities are formed on the metallic surface and hence the name it is cavitation so this whole process is called as cavitation okay so the bubbles of these vapors are carried by the flowing liquid into the region of high pressure where they collapse so giving rise to high impact pressure so the pressure developed by the collapsing bubbles so high that the material from the adjoining boundaries get eroded okay get eroded and cavities are formed this process is known as cavitation okay friends okay this was about the fluid and their properties the first part of first module okay so i hope you understand the concept which i have explained thank you have a good day